So the Cozen test is one test that we use to help identify if someone has lateral elbow pain. So I'm going to have you come up and we can do it with the elbow in a flex position. Perform resisted wrist extension. Hold that. Does that hurt? Yes. Where? Right, right there. We can also do this with the elbow in extended position. So come on up and hold. Does that hurt? Yes. Where? Right there. So we don't know though if we can how we differentiate between a tendon issue versus a joint issue. So to to help further kind of unravel the issue, because more research is showing that people have joint issues at the radial head, chondropathy at both the, the capitulum as well as the radial head when patients undergo surgery for lateral elbow pain or tennis elbow. So to help differentiate that, I'm going to have his elbow in extended position. Go ahead and relax for me. I'm going to come in and I'm going to test separately the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis and extensor carpi ulnaris. So when I come in, I'm going to test, hold here, don't let me move you, hold, does that hurt? Yes. And relax. Now I'm going to repeat that test to look at extensor carpi ulnaris. We know if it's a tendon problem, the ECRB is the tendon that's typically most involved, sometimes EDC. So I'm going to test now ulnar deviation with wrist extension and if that isn't painful it's going to tell me it's more likely a tendinopathy and not a joint issue. If however when I test that is painful I will need to do more testing to look at problems with the joint because I know it's at least the tendon but probably also a joint issue because I'm loading it. So hold here don't let me move you and that hurts yes, yes? okay and relax. So what I can do then, I can perform something called a pull test or the wolf test to help unload the radial head and see if that alleviates his symptoms. If it does, I know I'm dealing more with a joint problem. So I come in, so I can perform this on the tabletop or in a standing position. So I'm gonna hold his radius and I'm gonna ask him to push up perform resisted extension into my forearm. And does that hurt? Yes. Okay, where does it hurt? Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, relax for me, is I'm going to now pull. So I'm going to provide, I'm going to unload the humeral radial joint by pulling or tractioning. And now I'm going to repeat that. Go ahead and push up. Does that hurt? Does that feel no, better? that's feel better. And relax. When I do this, I unload the joint. So if it's a joint problem that's driving the pain, the pain should be better. If it's a tendon issue, that extra pull is putting more tensile load on the ECRB. That's going to make his pain worse. So now I know I need to treat the joint and not so much the tendon by providing those extra few little tests.